All right. Well, wanna you wanna walk us through ju what just happened there? Uh, I am an excellent electrician, and I've gone through a gate. That guy. Quite the abridged version. Low light laser tinker turret. Oh, I love a good low light laser tinker turret. Except they are extremely dangerous. Um. So we are in a ruins. We are in Hinsun. Um, there continues to be broken wires on this other end. Uh, we did walk through the gateway, if you missed that at home. Trying to, we're trying to piece together what kind of place this is. Seems like no matter where we go, there's broken wiring, which is really quite the disaster. At least we have a working fusion power station. We still have broken wiring. We have a staircase leading down. Um, we have a wet, bizarre contraption. What is that? Oh, it's broken. I don't think we're going to figure it out. Yeah, because it's broken. It could be a repairman, but you're against it. Well, it's seeming to be more and more relevant, but I, I do know that just 100 skill points for a repair is, is going to be a waste. Because it's going to come up exactly like now and maybe once other time. Oh god, we have a, yoke, a, a goat folk. Trying to, okay, we're on the surface. We could actually go up into the overworld to see where we are. We can definitely grab that. Oh, you grabbed it all. Nice. Oh, you didn't grab it all. I didn't. I don't know why he's not automatically disassembling, but that's fine. Um, yeah, let's have a quick look at where we are. So we're in the jungle. Two feet, two, two pair of sangs over from Grit Gate. Um, that's quite the lucky, um, gateway you got there. It can be so much more disastrous. Like, I've had that gateway take me, like, 30 strata underground. Um, it, it can be, it's just completely random where it goes. But it always takes you to some kind of, like, ruin or forgotten ruins. And there's always a gateway on the other side. Now, the fun thing about the gateway on the other side is it doesn't necessarily go back. So we could check it out and then step through on that one as well, if it's working. I'm a little bit concerned about that light laser turret and tinker turret. They're going to set up some... Uh, Some turrets that are going to be a problem for us. Oh god, and apparently there's a chain gun tinker as well. Yeah, we want to kill those guys. They're not doing anything to you, but they set up turrets that will hurt us. And they also give us really good XP. That guy gave you almost 500. I've, uh... I've been like, oh yeah, we could rebuke them. I forgot about that. Cool. So that, well, the thing is, is that they're still going to set up turrets that are aggressive to us. So we still need to kill them. I've been kind of making friends with these guys in my playthrough because um, I've been playing with long blades. Just, just kill that lad. All right. So that gateway lost power, undoubtedly because of all of them broken wiring we're not gonna worry about it um a fun a fun uh ability for the long blades is you can use it to disarm opponents and that includes turrets like turrets are basically just standing guns right um yeah. but the way they they work is they're basically uh opponents that don't have legs that are wielding a gun um and that means if you disarm them, then they just lose their gun and then they're just like dead in the water. So they don't do anything to you anymore. 
Um, and then you get a free gun, and they they often have some really powerful weaponry, and it's just free bits that you can disassemble for. So, um, it's great. Like if you can find a, a turret tinker and you have the chops to take on their turrets, then they're just a, an endless supply of bits, which is fantastic. We are taking a bit of damage from them, though. Oh god, a moth. That's me in real life too, by the way. Just like, oh god, a moth. What am I gonna do? They're bad. Um, they're bad early game. We can take them now for sure. Like you can just shoot them. But they're they're neutral. Oh right, because you're friends to insects. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that you're friends to insects. We love being friends to insects. So, I mean, um, I don't know what you want to do. We could go underground and uh, seek treasure and glory. Uh, we are going to want to grind up a little bit before we get to Bethesda Sousa. And so we're going to have to find things to do to occupy ourselves and uh, grind ourselves up a bit. Here's as good a place as any. We are in a ruins, so like... Ooh, traipsing mortar. Remember that, lad? Now we can kill them with one shot, apparently. I really don't understand why your character is not disassembling. I wonder if there's an, a setting in the options that we have, have to check that allows us to disassemble automatically. Because we do not seem to be doing it of our own volition. Oh, I guess against our volition. We want it to not be by our volition. Freeze Miner Mark II. That'll be good XP to kill. I like... The miners are really good because they can't hurt you directly. They can only place mines. We lost sight of them. That's interesting. Here we go. But um, they're still worth quite a lot of XP if you kill them. Yeah, <laughs> you, you stepped on one of their mines. Look how cold you are in the top left. Very. Very cold. Um, you're just going to want to wait a little while until you defrost. Don't worry about the sound effects. You are actually warming up. That was pretty cold, though. I mean, much colder, and uh, we might have had a problem there. That was a... What kind of a... Uh, was that a... I'm trying to remember what kind of... Gall, oh, Gallbeard. That's a Gallbeard. We can potentially butcher that into some useful ingredients. No, nope, they didn't leave a corpse. Oh, well. Snails. You're, uh, you're kind of reaching my favorite part of Cud um, in many ways, like round level 16 to level 21. Things are still very spicy, but you can kind of uh, get away with traversing the underground ruins. And this is like where Cud is, shines the brightest, I think, because it's like, I don't know, I, I just love to find stuff down here, like legendaries to make friends or enemies with. Um, cool trinkets, bits aplenty. I've found some really interesting stuff down here. Uh, underground ruins, books, lore, secrets. You found your first juice sap. Those, those guys are a nightmare. Those guys, by the way, are almost single-handedly the reason why I never set the option to ignore trivial creatures. Um, oh, yeah. You want to kill those guys instantly. Um, they're not exactly a problem. Uh, like, they don't do that much damage, but the problem is, th is that their name is kind of a pun. Um, they genuinely do sap you of your juice. And what that, you know, it talks, it's basically talking about electrical juice. So every time they attack you, they will um soak up some of your electrical power from all of your devices by the way 
and yep they've they've already done so a little bit and you said did you see that explosion because he was full of my energy he was full of your energy yeah so not only do they soak up your juice but then they also explode when you kill them dealing uh you know a little bit of damage not too much do you want to eat the bat corpse are we going uh who's that one guy Ozzy Osbourne? Yeah. Karen! That's all I know. Yep. That's all I know. Um, yeah, so juice saps are a problem. Bats become actually very problematic in the late game because at first you have juice saps and they're a problem. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh ones that'll actually sap your intelligence or i believe your ego like they do they sap something like like permanently steal your attributes and um if you lose enough attributes you can actually die instantly it's it's very D D in that sense so bats bats are a little bit of a nightmare um, I like, uh, the ruins are a lot of fun because there's always a guaranteed, oh, okay, that guy, you might, uh, I am, okay. Yeah, those guys are kind of spicy, but they're really good XP. You're going to want to move away from that wall because, yeah, they can, they can traverse the wall. Those are, uh, livid creepers. The next, um, kind of evolved version of, um, jilted lovers. And if you get too close, you become grabbed by them. And now you're kind of locked in combat until uh, one of you dies. Now you're fine to take them on, but they can actually do quite a bit of damage. But do you see how much XP you're getting from each of them? Getting a, a good chunk, 500 each. After you're, you've killed that one, you might want to uh, eat some food. Eat some food. Eat the food. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it. Stepping on the fire. Surprised it let you make a campfire. If there are hostiles. Okay, there he is. Oof. It's fine. You should be okay here. You've got tons of AV, and uh, that's like their nemesis. Beetle jerky. What do you want to make? What do you want to eat? What sounds good? Fire ant gaster paste. And honey. Mm. Every time you contract a horrible disease, you your breath gets spicy. Yeah. Oh, pyrokinesis at level one isn't bad. You can toast. You're you're very toasty. You can uh, you know toast your friends and loved ones. I think I made that joke last time. Raise your glass. <laughs> yeah, I love living creepers because they're. On, dude. Uh, they're like the least spicy thing you can encounter in ruins and they also output some of the highest XP even in the mid game like they just consistently give you 500 XP for a very long time and they're very easy to kill and there you go level 17 inspired chain gun smacko good stuff to me, it always feels good when I can, like, reliably kill a chain gun without worrying. Oh, that slug is a bit of a problem. But, um, yeah, you're, you're not doing, you're doing a, the right thing, I think. You, you, you can, you don't have to, like, they're not going to kill you or anything. They're just going to be a problem. Yeah. So you just, you saw what they did, right? Shot some slime. It's acid, actually. 
and uh i mean acid it 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 sounds nasty like it can hurt your gear but i've never actually had it destroy anything of mine so i'm not really sure how it works to be honest but i've always just tried my best to, to stay away from it oh two chain guns is a little spicy uh You should uh, consider making your next um, get charge. It's slinking along. Oh, there it is. Ouch. All right, you want to rest. Yeah. Getting a little bit spicy. You're getting kind of lucky because like as much as these are open environments, you have lots of trees that make it difficult for them to hit you. Ouch. Ouchies. Ooh. There must be a turret tinker in this uh, tile. Because there's gen rarely is there that many like chain turrets grouped up like that. I, not not impossible. I have known that to happen. Oh yeah, I love when that happens. Uh, one of the chain gur turrets uh, accidentally destroyed the other one. It's always fun. Okay. It's been kind of spicy, but I mean, you're you're leveling up. You're getting XP. You're finding all of those chain turrets are worth bits. They also give you ammo. You could, um, might be not a terrible idea to try your scoped carbine. The, uh, the electro bow is accurate and it's a good, uh, means of like hitting something far away. It's good for those novice of the sightless way, but the scoped carbide shoots a lot. So it might be better for like just mowing down stuff like the livid creepers. It's going to be in your missile weapons. There you are. You can just do auto. And then uh, you'll want to, you're going to have to get used to reloading again, but it has lots of ammo, so you don't have to reload all that often. I believe it gets like seven shots <clears throat> before you have to reload. More livid creepers. There you go. So I think you just hit it three times with it, like every shot. Um, though it is pretty like good. a, it's like an assault machine gun. Um, the carbide is actually pretty accurate, and the fact that you have a scoped masterwork one makes it like uber accurate. That was uh, your reward for finishing Golgotha somewhat early. I think if, um, I believe that if we had finished Golgotha even earlier, we would have gotten a, uh, hologram bla bracelet, which is quite a good, a good get, but, um, the scoped carbide is such a nice reward. It really, uh, makes a big diff. Low light laser tinker turret, oof, or turret tinker. Yeah, we want to end that thing. Nice. So yeah, that scoped carbide is really doing work already. Yeah, there's a lot of... Uh, you're getting kind of lucky with these turrets. Turret tinkers. Carbide folding hammer. Oh, that's what you're using. <laughs> machine gun versus machine gun. Who will win? That's a mine. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, it gets me every time. Ooh, an artifact. And then, uh, like, that happens to me a lot. What is that? And then you just get doused in corrosive acid. You got a sleep gas grenade. Oh, is that what those guys are dropping? Yeah. 
Sleep Gas Miner Mark II. Sleep Gas is kind of interesting. I've been kind of playing with that as well in my current playthrough. Bop, bop, bop. Oof. Yeah, good stuff. You've got, uh, you, you get, you've got, uh, developed some good instincts for how to deal with some of these situations. <laughs> Small trinket. We've probably got a ton of artifacts to, uh, examine and, uh, disassemble and root through. Well, let's clear this floor and take a look. Take a look inside our book. Is that a ant queen? Oh God, that's a saw hander. Oh God. What's that to your, yeah, that one. Fire ant queen. I have not encountered all that many of those, but we're on good terms with them, right? Not the ants, the beetles. Oh, the ants don't count as insects, huh? That's kind of a bummer. Well, hopefully the beetles will, um, assist us in killing that saw hander. I don't know, honestly, what I would do here. Probably back up. We want to fight that saw hander at range. 100% we do not want to take them on melee. The temptation is to go downstairs. We could do that. Honestly, it's never a bad idea. What happened? Oh no, we're doing exactly what we don't want to do. I'd honestly sprint. We, we, we not, we do not want, oh. No. Okay. There no. it is. That's what happens. That's what happens when you fight a saw hander. They, they're not gonna, this is like, this is not gonna go well at all. I, I don't know why you continued. <laughs> You'd already taken my hand. Yeah, we could have escaped that and grew our hand back, though. <laughs> hmm. Like, there, there were, there, there were, uh, it would have been worth getting out of there and not losing all the progress we had made. Oh, God. Progress, Schmogress. I, I, the, the saw handers, though. Yeah, they suck. They, they do suck. All right, well, why don't we end it there? Yeah. What are, what are we going to do in the next episode? Sorry, though? everyone. We, Have you we... heard of Mimar Greenery? Yeah, Mimar Greenery. Yeah, yeah. Where's the orchids, orchids of tan? Probably in the moon stair. We don't mm. want to do that. Like, that is the bottom of our list. Flora of Shishan. Oh. Yeah, it's talking about Eid Freehold. Those are both in like Moonstair or in Jungle or Deep the Jungle. The Orchids of Tand are one person east of the Six Day Stilt. Yeah, that's the one that is filled to the brim with Novice of the Sightless Way. The, the one we just learned about? Wait, what? The orchards of Tand. One thing east. Okay, apparently there's another ruin. Yeah, we could go there. We could check that out. Oops, I didn't mean to be moving. It's fine. Oh, that uh, losing all that progress is kind of a downer. I would say. Orchards of Tan Taned. Gusts of poison salt. There's like 
more than one thing at that tile. Because that's where Memor of whatever is. I don't agree. It, 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 I swear to God, that's where it is. This is 15 parasangs north of the YD uh, group. Right okay, home. yeah, never mind. That's Memor Granary is in uh, the Moon Stair. Or Deep Jungle. Either way, we're not going there for a long time. All right. Have we been to Mer Mervatum? Mm, I don't remember. I don't think yes. we have. I don't remember. Was it not just a garbage place full of garbage? I mean, we might have died there, but we might be better prepared for it now. Hmm. We'll find out next episode. All right. If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Goodbye. Wow. No. Do it better. What kind of like? Like, like subscribe, comment down below what a fool I am for trying to punch a hand cutting machine. Content. 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 Bye. Bye.